Once again, Republicans are relying upon lies and innuendo to criticize Democrats because unfortunately, they have nothing truthful to criticize us on. Let's talk about it in today's video. Hi, I'm Mike Reiner. I'm a lifelong Democratic activist who's concerned about the direction our country is taking. If you share my concerns, maybe you could like this video, subscribe to this channel, and even click that little bell that will notify you when I post something new. So the other day, my wife came back from a meeting that she goes to on a regular basis and was asking me about the Biden administration funding crack pipes. I'm like, what? And it's just one more example of where I hear something advanced on Fox News and on the other right-wing channels claiming to be true that turns out to really have no basis in reality. I become very cynical when I hear these things circulating. But my wife is concerned because, like they say them with such authority, she's like, how can they be false? Well, guess what? They are. The crack pipe example was particularly egregious. The Washington Free Beacon, a right-wing newspaper, had published a story that caught fire about how the Biden administration was funding crack pipes to the tune of $30 million. Well, it turns out that when the Washington Post looked into the genesis of this story, not only did the White House and the Department of Health and Human Services make it clear that crack pipes were not something that was going to be funded by this program, and that crack pipes have never been funded with this program, but that didn't stop the Free Beacon from reporting it and from it taking on a whole life of its own among the right-wing press. This is just one more example of the right-wing outrage machine that tries to essentially direct people's attention away from the real issues to issues where they can prevail. We heard another example of that the other day with our good friend, former President Donald Trump, arguing that there was now proof, proof, I tell you, that Democrats spied on his campaign in 2016 so that they'd be able to get evidence of Russian interference in his campaign. Well, this allegation was based on one of the filings by special counsel John Durham, who was appointed by William Barr, essentially to investigate Trump's claims of spying on his campaign. Let's face it, Durham is little more than a political hack. And he's desperately trying to find anything that he can use to try to support this argument, which otherwise has been pretty thoroughly debunked. Well, in this case, it turns out that Durham is alleging that somebody who was hired by the government during the Obama administration to look for security breaches in the internet at the White House somehow had links to a law firm that was also working for the Clinton campaign and provided a report on these potential leaks to the White House. However, that report came after Trump was already president. So what value would that have been to the Clinton campaign? It doesn't even make any sense. But making sense and arguing based on facts are two things that neither John Durham nor the right-wing media care about. I mean, I think we all witnessed it during the impeachment trial where Democrats would ask questions actually relevant to the inquiry. And then Republicans on the committee would ask questions that seemed so outlandish and so out of left field. But what they were trying to do is essentially create sound bites that could be used on Fox News and OAN to try to create some kind of narrative that Trump was actually the victim of a witch hunt rather than the perpetrator of a crime against the United States. This falls in with these kind of false issues that have been created, things like critical race theory, which is the new mantra among Republicans. But in every case, what they're doing is they're essentially distracting attention away from the real issues. What are those real issues? Well, the real issues are the fact that the Trump tax giveaway has exacerbated inequality in the United States, that the vast majority of Democrats in Congress are in favor of remedying this. Unfortunately, really, that's being held up by one member of Congress, Kirsten Sinema, that Republicans have opposed COVID relief and the majority of them oppose the infrastructure bill, which was supposedly bipartisan. That doesn't stop them, by the way, of going back to their districts and claiming credit for the benefits that are coming from this legislation that they voted against. And that's the point that we as Democrats need to focus in on. We can't get all wrapped up in knots with these ridiculous claims that the Republicans keep making. We need to point out the fact that these are just distractions, that they're false. And the truth is that they're essentially being used by the right-wing powers that be to get people essentially to vote against their own personal economic and social interests. 
Well, if you like this video, maybe you'd like to check out this other video that I have that talks about Republican lying on Fox News. I'll see you then. In the meantime, let's hope for continued progress. Thank you.